Hey guys, it's Crystal Dragonfly with this week's Use It or Lose It video with Kylie Koo. This week we're working with, um, we're using your tins. A lot of people collect the, or you have the, um, mint tins. I don't. <laughs> I don't have anything like that. I've actually had this. It's a, actually a goat's milk so soap. I was inside. Um, I love the design. I keep it had hair ties and stuff on it. But for this uh, week's challenge, I will give it up. <laughs> Kali Koo made a little like journal in it. Um, I'm not doing that. You guys know me. I try to do my own spin on stuff. Um, but I want it to be used because this is such a cute tin. And if I made a journal, it would literally just sit on my shelf and never be used. It's just how it is. Um, so I'm going to make something for my grandson, Bentley. Um, he's four years old. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a learning tin. Alright, we're going to get the same basis, um, but as Kylie Koo's journal, but it's going to be for fun learning. Learning. <laughs> learning. <laughs> Alright, so let's start off. I did just kind of take that off. I'm not going to get it all off. I'm not worried about it. I took the tin in here. I lucked out because I can use this as a base for um, fitting in here, which I did, and then I made one, and guess what? It was too big. So there went one bye bye. So you guys, you're not, it, we do mess up too. So I took a piece of paper, um, I cut it down, I used the measurements. I ended up not using that because it was too big, and it fits, okay? You're going to want to round the corners either with a corner rounder, which is like this, whoops, that I just dropped, or use your scissors. Um, either one works, guys, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to work on the outside first. We'll go out and then work our way inside out. So I'm going to actually take, I want to do red, the main colors on here first off. I'm just going to paint them real quick. I'm going to use, um, uh, shoot, I'm sorry guys, I'm just blah, 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 blah. I'm going to use Delusions paint, um, because I like Delusions and it dries quick. doesn't make it too messy, so that's what we're going to use. I got my primary colors here, and then on the other side I just used it to clean off the, and give it a cool design. Alright, what I'm going to do with this side is obviously color, so we need little pockets to put things in. Remember I said this is going to be a learning tin, so, you're an interactive tin, we can call it. And then on the other side I'm going to do the alphabet, some of the alphabet, but we need pockets, so. It's a piece that was left over after I had the screw up paper and then this one. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to lay it on here, um, I'm going to decide what color I'm going to put this on, I'm going to cut it first, um, double sided tape it at the edge here and there. And then I'm just going to use the lines I already have, make score marks, and I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I've got a mess on my desk. I need a bigger desk, but I don't have the area for it anyway, so. Is that how it is? Alright. I'm just using my um, ruler and my, my little score that I have here, which is just a... Paper clip. It works, guys. <laughs> guys, um, they just love those colors. They're just so pretty. Alright, we got them. I got them. <laughs> I can't talk. I got them the right way they need to be. And I was thinking, well, they had to have um, the bottoms are rounded, so I rounded the edges of each one. Okay. Let's see if I got it in right. There we go. Around the edges of each of the bottoms. I also took my one inch punch and did the tops like halfway because I'm making 
little um, chits, you want to call them, where he can put them in the pocket. So I'll like do some, you know, I'll do some in each color, and then he can take them and put them in the right pocket, which what, where they need to be. So he pissed off of it down. Haha, uh -huh, it works! Yay! It's a tight fit, but it does work. See, I'm gonna have to trim off a little on the top. Okay. Now, I figured not just, it's going to get the wash tape on the edge, but I think it's going to need a little bit more um, glue, a little glue. So I'm going to put just a couple dots on each of the edgings here. Nothing, um, a lot or anything, just enough to give it a little reinforcement to help in case. Because I've told you before, if you watch my channel, we're going to do this here. Make sure we get it in the right spot here, and same with everybody else. There we go. I'm just going to push those down. I'm going to shut it. Just a little extra oomph. Okay, now we're going to take the little tape. I really don't have very many... boyish colors for washi tape. So we're just going to work with what I got. So, real simple. Put a little piece down here. And flip that over. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and shut it like this while it glues. Or glues are in place. And we're going to work on the little Schlitz. <laughs> the little chits where we're going to put in. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, and six. That's what we have. I'm going to go ahead and shove that in there to help, help it um, glue shut. So six chits, and I'm going with at least six, I should say. I've got pieces of file folder that I used uh, for a previ previous um, project. We need three for each color. So I'm using this as my um, stencil. Um, I tried with my one inch. One inch is just too small. Um, yes, it, um, it's kind of, it'll get lost and I'll just tear it up. So they need to be bigger and unfortunately I don't have any other punches so do it the old fashioned way. We're going to do this, take this, find a pencil, I'm doing inside, voila, and I'm going to make a bunch of these. Okay, I'm going to thing to be dry and I went ahead and I co colored two each of the circles for the colors and I also on the back wrote red in two different ways. So each of those have a little pocket now go in there. I may, I probably are going to do, I think, go around each with black marker, but I can do that later. Okay. So there's that. And I've decided, um, I'm also going to write the words up here that they keep for him to see, um, for him to know and, you know, work on. Um, um, you guys know I want to do the alphabet on this side. So, I said I got these, my little and big letters. Like I said, I'm going to put, we're going to just put the big ones on top, the little ones on the bottom, I think. And then directly below the big one, I'm going to do the little. Just like that. Okay. So we're going to go all the way across. Alright guys, I have got the alphabet on there. And now I'm, um, I already went through and wrote the alphabet on each tab. tab. We've got a big A and little A. And now I'm just taking them and with a ink pad and eking the edges really quick. To finish this part up. Alright guys.
guys, let's get back to this. So, I'm lucky enough to have this, the tag that was in here, and I use this as a stencil measuring, and I cut um, two of them for the inside, and this is just a jelly bean uh, fancy type paper. <laughs> That's it, so we're just going to glue them in here. I'm going to use actually some double-sided tape and glue. Um, just for the really stick. I'm ready to see if this is going to work. Oh, there we go. I'm not done with that, but that's the, the back of it. And I will do the, that in a minute. So let's move on to this part. Now this part, I took a piece of my wasted paper paint. Um, and I took my stains on pencil and kind of went around the edge. And then I put this on there, rubbed it, and I got the outline of the piece I wanted to cut out. Voila! So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to glue and double-sided tape it, and then we will be back. Alright guys, so we got the top on. I got the innards looking good. So next we're going to take, I have this monster uh, washi tape, and we are going to put around the edge on here. Hopefully I can do it right. Let's back you guys up. This actually will fit perfect. Wouldn't that be nice? It would be, but it doesn't look like it's going to. So... I'm just going to go around it the right length here. Now we're going to cut it. Like that. Okay. He will love it. So I'm going to actually take um, I've got to figure out the bottom. I didn't cut out a jelly bottom, did I? That's the problem there. Try to see here. We can just cut it. Oh yeah, we just cut a little, little piece off here. Major. Okay. There we go, and there was the hinge part. Okay. Um, hmm. I'll put Bentley's name in here. Let's get the bottom done. Um, I think we're going to do some jelly bellies on the bottom. Well... I think jelly bellies are going to be in the fr and we're going to do the bottom, I think. I'm just going to use black on it, so. Give me two seconds, guys. Duct tape. I have black duct tape. And I'm going to put it on the bottom here. And I just... Just cutting off the excess there. I don't want my corners coming up. <laughs> it's for Mr. Bentley, so um, this is why I'm doing certain things. Usually, I would probably normally put a pretty bottom on this, but he's already gonna probably. <laughs> he's got a lot of things to pick at on here, and I try to minimize the pickiness because he likes to pick up anything that sticks up. So. Uh, um, if you didn't know, Sharpies do work on metal. Now, it will eventually wear off if you rub on it a lot. So I wouldn't recommend that. But, to do it like this and then go over it with some Mod Podge, it will be good to go, guys. So, I am just going to kind of hit some of these um, drawings on here. Some of the whirly whirls. 
just to give it a little pizzazz. So. Hey guys, I am finished. There's his name. You see all the see all the metal and how it does with the um, sharpies. Too fun. Okay, so we've got. Let me open it up. I haven't decided if I'm gonna put anything over here or not. Probably not. But then you can pull them out. You can. He can take it. We'll have take them out. He can put them in. Find out where red goes. Red goes there. We got all the colors and so much fun. I did, like I said, I orange smooshed orange on this side and a little bit of black on that. So much fun. I want to thank. Um, oh my goodness, I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> Thank you, Zitter Lose It. I will put her in the down bar to see what how she did hers. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for spending time with me. Remember, guys, go make a mess. Bye!